BFTB. Best fight the best. So Lewis King Kong Ortiz calls out Andy Ruiz Jr. And for the longest time, people were saying, oh man, Andy Ruiz, man, he'll beat Lewis. He'll beat Lewis Ortiz. He'll beat Lewis Ortiz. Um, I was never one of those people that thought that. I thought it would be a good fight. I thought it could potentially go either way, but it was never just, oh man, Andrew Ruiz beats, beats Ortiz. That was never the case. And being that Lewis King Kong Ortiz was ranked either three or four in the WBA, um, that's the fight that should have happened anyway because Chris Ariola was ranked like eight or nine. So how you fight the number eight or number nine guy in the WBA in a final eliminator to the title is beyond me. When you have fucking the number three or four guy that's right there calling for the smoke that nobody wants to fight. Um, people are blaming, I see, I read a lot of articles where people are blaming um, Andy Ruiz's new style that, you know, Eddie Reynoso and those guys, you know, Mr. The the best trainer in boxing. Trainer of the year, Eddie Reynoso. Best trainer in boxing. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Fuck out of here, bro. If Derek James had Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder would fucking destroy everybody. He's going to destroy everybody anyways, but... No, bro. You're not going to tell me Eddie Reynoso is the best trainer in boxing just because Canelo Alvarez. That's like, that would be the same thing as saying Floyd Mayweather Sr. Is the, was the best trainer in boxing for as long as Floyd Mayweather was fighting. Nah, bro. And, and in all reality, he should have been. He should have been trainer of the year every fucking year as long as he was training Floyd Mayweather. Or Roger Mayweather should have been trainer of the year every fucking year. But, you know, they'll give it to Eddie Reynoso. Eddie Reynoso, trainer of the year, you the best trainer of the year, blah, blah, blah. But they won't give it to Derek James. It's the craziest shit in the world. So because Canelo Alvarez is fighting bums and cherry picking his way up, then Eddie Reynoso is the best trainer in boxing. But Floyd Mayweather destroys Manny Pacquiao, beats every fucking fighter he's ever fought. Straight embarrasses Manny Pacquiao. Floyd Mayweather Sr. doesn't get trained of the year. Roger Mayweather doesn't get trained of the year. Right. Okay. All right. Whatever. We ever we all know that's racist. Racism as at its finest. Can't have Floyd Mayweather Sr. and Roger Mayweather winning trainer of the fucking year every single year. Can't do that. But you can have Eddie Reynoso winning because of Canelo. Got it. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. That's the case. Derek James should win trainer of the year every single year. Every single year. You have two unified champions. One about to be undisputed. Whatever. But, um, so you have the, the people running around here talking about Andy Ruiz would do this and Andy Ruiz would do that. The only reason why people were saying that is because Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua. But that means absolutely nothing because styles make fights and they always will, but y'all motherfuckers just don't, y'all don't want to run with that. You don't want to run with styles make fights. You don't want to run with that. No, I'm not, I'm not running with styles make fights. I just think Andy Ruiz is better than Lewis King Ortiz. Andy Ruiz beats him. Andy Ruiz is the is the second best heavyweight or the third best heavyweight in the world behind Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. He's the greatest heavyweight since Joe Montana. Andy Ruiz is the best heavyweight behind Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, then Andy Ruiz, and then Alexander Povetkin and Dillian White. Y'all don't want to give Wilder no credit. No credit for Wilder. Wilder's a bum, trash, garbage, blah, blah, blah. Although he only has one loss. One loss. A debatable, cheated loss. But he's garbage, trash, horrible. To the guy that you have probably is the best heavyweight in the world. <laughs> but Deontay Wilder's garbage. Anthony Joshua has one loss. 
to Chris Eric to to a guy that um, lost, in my opinion, Andrew Ruiz lost that fight to a guy Deontay Wilder destroyed. Let that sink in. Whatever, you know, Chris uh, Andrew Ruiz has a loss, in my opinion, he lost to Chris Ariola. But even if you want to say he won, which you can say that li literally because on paper he won. Um, but even if you want to say no, he didn't. It wasn't debatable. Andrew Ruiz beat him easy. He went the distance. Deontay Wilder stopped Chris Ariola. He stopped him. Deontay Wilder was never in trouble at all. As a matter of fact, Deontay Wilder was clowning the man. He was clowning him. He was fighting him with a torn bicep. You can clearly see the, the discoloration in his arm from the torn bicep. And he was clowning him. He was letting Ariola punch him to the body and he was clowning, clowning. And then he hit him with an uppercut. <laughs> but whatever, man. I guess that don't mean anything. But y'all think Andy Ruiz, oh man, Andy Ruiz, he's better than, yeah, he's, he's so much younger. Because he's young, that means he beats him. And he's with Eddie Reynoso, and Eddie Reynoso's style. Eddie Reynoso, Eddie Reynoso's training, his training style, he's training with Canelo, that's the heavyweight Canelo. Well, first off, um, I really didn't see much difference. I mean, Andrew Ruiz, his entire career has been a flat-footed, um, let my hands go fast fighter. His entire career, um, they 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 worked on him. I guess looking like a model. I guess or trying to look like a model. I want to look like Anthony Joshua. You know, the best heavyweights that I think. I think the best heavyweights are Tyson Fury because he believes in God. Anthony Joshua, um, myself, um, and then um, Deontay Wilder. He's a good guy. <laughs> All right, homie. Well, if that's what you believe in, bro, listen, bro, I'm not going to, I'm not knocking your beliefs, Andy. I ain't knocking your beliefs. You're the same guy people called the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man in the first fight with Anthony Joshua. In the first fight. You spend all this time talking about how you want to look. Who gives a fuck how you want to look? Who cares? Tyson Fury can box his ass off. And that is one of the sloppiest shaped motherfuckers on earth. That motherfucker is, is skinny, fat, knock kneed, bow legged, all in the same person. But you're worried about being built like a bag of shit. And you are built like a bag of shit. But so what? You can fight your ass off. You plant your feet, you let your hands go fast. That's what you do. So for someone to be a so-called trainer of the year, um, trying to be, make you more mobile, oh, you got to lose weight because, you know, all the weight that you had on you was the reason why you lost to Anthony Joshua. The weight that you had on you was not the reason why you lost to Anthony Joshua. The weight that you had on you, um, the reason why you lost to Anthony Joshua was you was not cutting the ring off. Now, now I'll be the first to say it. I get it. You were fat as a motherfucker. You put on mad weight. I understand that. But that was not the reason why you lost to Anthony Joshua. All right? And and everybody telling you the reason why you lost to Anthony Joshua was because you were fat. Nigga, you was fat before you... You was fat when you fought Anthony Joshua the first time. You was fat as a motherfucker then. I'm going to keep it a buck, all right? I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You got in the gym and you worried about your shape. That's what you worried about. You ate your way out of a title the first, uh, the second time because all you was doing was doing interviews and eating. You weren't training. That's why you lost. It had nothing to do with you putting on extra weight. 
it has something to do with you not cutting the ring off. Because if you would have listened to your trainer that you had, if you would have stayed with your trainer and listened to your trainer, then you would have been in the gym to start out with. And you wouldn't have to worry about, oh man, I need to, I need to, I need to worry about putting on this extra weight. This extra weight, I gotta worry about this extra weight. You wouldn't have had to worry about the extra weight because you would have been in the gym already. You would have been in the gym. So it would have been, it would have been off of you naturally. You would have been right around where you needed to be at. 260-ish, ish, right around in there. You'd have been like listening to your fucking trainer who's telling you, hey, look, if this man, if Anthony Joshua stands and fights with you, he can't, he, you will knock him out. If Anthony Joshua stands and fights with you, you knock him out. So he can't stand, he might mix it up, but he can't stand, he can't do that the whole fight. So then what we need to work on is what will he do when he can't stand there? He is going to try to move. So let's work on cutting the ring off. It's fucking common sense. Had nothing to do with you fucking eating um, grease by the bucket. No, it has something to do with you not being in the fucking gym. Anthony Joshua was in the gym. You were not in the gym. You did not lose because you were fat as a motherfucker. You lost because you weren't training. That's why you lost. You lost because you was Rocky in Rocky 3. Oh, man, you know. Oh, they love me, Mick. The people love me, Mick. Playing fucking music in the background and shit. They're going, doing all these fucking interviews with the Muppets. That's why you lost, nigga. It, had nothing, it didn't have nothing to do with you being fat as a motherfucker. You weren't tired. You just weren't moving. You were expecting AJ to do what he did in the first fight, which is come at you and try to get you out of there. And he didn't. He, 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 he stayed a distance and he fucking boxed with you. That's what he did. And you couldn't put the pressure on. And when you did, you had success. And then he started to move. And instead of, instead of being able to cut the ring off to continue your success, you fucking stood there. Because you didn't know what to fucking do. You had no plan B. That's why you lost. Because AJ had a plan A and AJ had a plan B. You had a plan A and nothing more. And that's why you lost. You didn't lose because you was fat. But then you spent all this camp trying to look like an Adon uh, the, the, the Adonis. I want to look like a Adonis. Uh, and, and Ruiz looks like a Dodonis. So you spent your time working out, running, and, and trying to get into some type of shape that you've never been in your entire fucking career instead of worrying about your boxing skills again. And the more you worry about how the fuck you look, the easier and easier it's going to be for somebody to fuck you up. You will not beat Luis Ortiz. He will fucking destroy you. That shit will not go five rounds. It will not go five rounds. He will fucking destroy you. He will drop you in every fucking round. And when he hurts you, he's fucking extremely skilled that he will put them things on you at the right distance and knock you the fuck out. You will not make it six rounds against Lewis King Kong Ortiz. Stay with Eddie Reynoso. Go ahead. Stay the heavyweight Canelo. You lost that fight, bro. You did not beat Chris Ariola. You were gifted that fight. You were gifted it because of the name recognition of you being tied to Anthony Joshua. That's why you was gifted it. That's why. And if your name rec recognition doesn't equal you fighting Deontay Wilder next, then your name recognition is nothing. You are set up to lose to some fucking Joe Schmo. That's what you are right now. You're fighting, you're, 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 you're being trained with, um, uh, motherfucking, uh, um, Canelo Alvarez's team. Your name, you, they're going to put you in there against someone like Otterbox and he's going to fuck you up or they're going to put you in there with like Joe Joyce is going to fuck you up. Or they're going to put you in there with someone like Michael Hunter and he's going to fuck you up. Your name recognition being tied to Anthony Joshua, they should put you in there with Deontay Wilder so he can fuck you up. Because the, the this Andrew Ruiz right here doesn't stand a fucking chance. Well, the old one didn't stand a chance with Deontay Wilder, but this one doesn't go three rounds. This one gets fucked around and knocked out in the very first round in devastating fashion. Devastating fashion. This is a horrible version of Andrew Ruiz. 
the Andrew Ruiz that we're talking about um, that does good against Loser T's. That's like, man, this is a 50 50 fight. The Andrew Ruiz that lasts some good ass rounds and does some good work with Deontay Wilder before he gets fucking destroyed. That is the fat one. That is the Andrew Ruiz that fought uh, Joseph Parker. That is the Andrew Ruiz that didn't worry too much about his weight. That's the one that said, hey, I was always a fat kid. I've always been fat my whole career, but my hands are fast. That Andrew Ruiz is the one that we're used to seeing. The one that fought Anthony Joshua. That's the one we're used to seeing. Both times. Not that, not the one that we just saw thinking that you're going to be, oh man, let me use this left and right fucking uh, twist motion. And let me step to the left, step to the right and do all this and slide. No, if you cut the ring off, that's different. But all this fucking, let me get this extra footwork movement and, and look at all these things that Canelo Alvarez does and duplicate them. Bro, Canelo Alvarez has been doing that his entire career. You just started. You just started. So you think you're going to implement what Canelo Alvarez does, who has been doing this his entire career, his entire career he's been doing this. He he got this shit from Floyd Mayweather in 2015, 2013, I mean 13. In 2013, you got this from Floyd Mayweather and you've been training it on it for almost a decade. But now you want to, Canelo wants to pass this on to you, you take it and you want to put it into work right away against Chris Ariola. Stop it. Stop it. But remember, Chris Ariola was a bum. Oh, he was a bum when Deontay Wilder beat him four or five years ago. <laughs> he was a bum. But Andrew Ruiz Jr., you know, Andrew Ruiz Jr. is better than Deontay Wilder. But Chris Ariola, five years after being knocked out by Deontay Wilder, five years after Deontay Wilder clowned this man in the ring, five years later, beats the shit out of Andrew Ruiz Jr. But I'm guessing the eye test don't matter to you guys. But the eye test does matter when it comes to a fighter you dick rod. But it don't matter now, though. The eye test don't matter now. Eye test don't matter. Oh, Andy Ruiz beats Deontay Wilder, man. Easy. Deontay Wilder's garbage. Andy Ruiz beats Luis Ortiz. Easy, man. Luis Ortiz is old. Okay. The eye test don't mean nothing now. Got it. Got it. I got you. Deontay Wilder destroys this man in devastating fashion. Luis King Kong Ortiz destroys this man in devastating fashion. But make the fight. BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm out.